Looks like I've uh, found the National Comedy Center here. We all love comedy. This is where the comedy is. Hates comedy. But not everyone can do it. My life wouldn't have had anything to do with me if I wasn't funny. Hello world, it's your Uncle Heavy with my weekly vlog. Today I'm still on location in Jamestown, New York. Here to check this out. This is the National Comedy Center located here in Jamestown. It's a museum and display dedicated to comedy and the like. Not exactly sure what's going on in there, but I'm about to find out. Already got my tickets. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Do you come along? Me, 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 so it's like a two block walk from the parking lot to the museum and it's really hot in there and they don't have a coat check right now so I have to leave my coat in the car and I'm dying. So if if somebody finds me frozen on this sidewalk in Jamestown, New York, that's what was going through my mind at the time. Let's go inside and see what this is all about. So this is kind of nice. Right off the bat, they have an interactive board where you log in and you pick your favorite comedians so they can customize the display for you. Let's see, friends, cheers, how I met your mother. I think I should just select all. So you can see they've put my profile up on this big screen right here before you enter. I'm very excited about going in there. I'm very, very impressed. There's a lot of interactive activities to do here and they give you a nice clean stylus for you to use and these interactive bands are no touch to keep things safe. They even give you a set of headphones to use in some of the displays. So here, wow, is a wall of fame with a lot of autographed comedians who I'm assuming have visited. George Carlin. Jim Gaffigan, my goodness. Mitch Heidberg, wow. Billy Tomlin, Seinfeld, Sarah Silverman. Of course, I'm showing all my favorites. Steve Martin, Dave Chappelle, love that guy. Oh, and they've even got Robin Williams. Absolutely loved Robin Williams. I'm, I'm gonna probably make the longest vlog out of this, but I'm, I'm, in, the, I'm in the museum for 15 seconds and, and I've gotta stop and film it. It's the Seinfeld puffy shirt. Legendary! Harold Ramis' jumpsuit from Ghostbusters. Oh my gosh. Uh, Jerry Lewis, and we've got Lucille Bowles, polka dot dress. We just saw her in a museum not that long ago. Carol Burnett, the Smothers Brothers. Wow. Andy Kaufman's Elvis jacket. Oh my gosh. So they have an entire display here to George Carlin, who, who is absolutely... <sighs> I have so many favorite comedians, but he, he's definitely up there in the top three. Here's his clothes. I didn't realize how tiny he was. I did get to actually see him live in New York City before he passed away. Here is he's going on about his famous Seven Dirty Words skit. This looks kind of interesting. They have a, a virtual stand-up comedy. Where are you? Scan. Welcome to the National Comedy Center Stand-Up Lounge. Tap in at a table to join. The show will begin soon. Oh, it's... Oh, it's an East Coast crew. It's customizing my experience. I'm your MC. I want you to look at this. Look at so how it's set up started. right here. First... We'll kick I, I think they're going to do one of my favorite comedians. I do love the projection technology they've got here. There's my... Radio comedians, and they became more famous than these vaudeville stars. This is the bottom ratio, so it stands back. This is kind of nifty. It's called Laugh with a View, and it has jokes on the windows. This is my absolute favorite Stephen Wright joke. Oh my goodness. Is that what I think it is? This is a real Fozzie Bear puppet from The Muppet Show. Oh 
Oh my gosh. I love it. It's kind of hard to see with the glare, but oh my gosh. This is pieces of the studio of cartoonist Brad Anderson, who is known for the comic Marmaduke. I'm very impressed with all these interactive displays. I feel like I could spend like four or five hours just trying each one of them. This is Weird Al Yankovic's actual accordion and Dr. Demento's top hat, the legendary Jack Benny's tuxedo, and Red Skelton's Clem Kadiddlehopper costume. Clem Kadiddlehopper. If you don't know who Clem Kadiddlehopper was, you seriously need to Google it and look it up. That's just American comedy at its greatest. This is the actual costume that Eddie Murphy wore in The Nutty Professor. It's Professor Clump. Wow. There's a side profile to show you exactly how wide it was. This is called the TV room. It's an interactive display. Look, it's, it's the famous putter in the shape of a hockey stick. This is Adam Sandler's golf bag from Happy Gilmore. Steve Carell's outfit from the 40 year old virgin. These are the custom motorcycle helmets from Coneheads the movie. Dana Carvey's Aerosmith shirt from Wayne's World. This is a Harley Davidson motorcycle that was actually owned by Dan Aykroyd. This was actually the screened used set pieces from the Larry Sanders show. That's the couch, the chair, and the desk that Gary Shandling used in the show. Very cool. Check it out. Another funny line, yeah, so I'm stopping All of us who do sketches, some aspect of what we A little bit of Monty Python here. These are George Carlin's Grammys here. Five of them. Pretty impressive. Here's a Emmy and a hair piece that used to belong to Carl Reiner. Looks like they have a script here from the Dick Van Dyke show as well. Looks like there's a custom made movie for me. If she were a president, she'd be Abraham Lincoln. I'm Bill S. Preston! You always have to have a buddy. Come on, what are you gonna do it alone? You need somebody to play off of. One, two, three. One, two, three. Buddy comedies are very satisfying because they are usually two people who would not normally be together are stuck together. So what I'm going into next is known as the blue room here. And it's supposed to have explicit profane comedy in there. So I'm not sure how this is going to end up coming up on YouTube. I like to keep my vlogs a little on the G-rated side, but we want to see it anyway. So let's go take a walk inside. So this is Lenny Bruce's typewriter and trench coat. Very nice. So yeah, this is a little bit about what I can show you. Know. Andrew Dice Clay joke. And we're going to go ahead and stop it right there. Again, they've got George Carlin in his famous dirty words. I wanted to be the first one to address Gilbert Gottfried. Yeah, it was a very, very, very cool experience, but unfortunately there was just way too much out of a, let's say out of a G rating to record. So I can probably go ahead and skip that on the vlog. This is a pretty awesome display right here. It's called the Comedy Continuum. It's an interactive timeline. So I guess they have various comedy props that you pick up and put on the table and a display happens. Okay. I do like how they provide gloves for you to use these things. Start with the good old whooping cushion. Uh, 
and you slide it. Your jokes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's put it back. Let's do one more. Let's do the rubber chicken. I am Professor Fazi Bear, and today I'm talking comedy props. Yeah, first the rubber chicken. Why is it funny? I have no idea. But trust me, use a rubber chicken and you'll never lay an egg. Ah! Uh. I almost missed this right here. This is Bob Hope's uniform when he was entertaining the troops in the USO. It looks like they even have like a comic karaoke setup that you can do where they give you your lines and they record it and you get to take it home. Well, there's lots of great treats this year. Zucchini bread, fruit cake. But the thing I most like to bring out at this time of year are my bowls. Mm -hmm. Well, over at Seasons Eatings, we have balls for every taste. Popcorn balls, cheese balls, rum balls, you name it. Wow. My mouth's watering just thinking about those things. Who's on first? What's on second? I don't know who's on first. You know the guy's name on the baseball yeah. team? Well, go ahead, who's on first? Yeah. I mean the guy's name. Oh. Guy playing first. The guy playing first, please. <laughs> who's on first? Why are you asking me for? I don't know. <laughs> I'm asking you who's on first. <laughs> well, go ahead and tell me. The guy on first. That's it. You ain't said nothing. I ain't asked you nothing. You know the guy's name on first base. Go ahead, tell me the guy's name on first base. The guy playing first base. What are you asking me for? Okay, it looks like you finished your experience here, where it analyzes everything you've done. So. This is my joke to go. Awesome. Overall, the Comedy Center was a really, really cool experience. A lot of, a lot of interactive stuff, lots of great comedy stuff. I could have probably spent another two hours there. I just kind of did my usual Uncle Heavy fly through. Maybe I'll have to come back and do a more detailed vlog, but if you're ever in Jamestown, New York, Highly recommend checking it out. That's it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up down below, tell your friends, and share this video. If you're new to my channel, check out some of my other videos. If you like them, consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that bell so you'll be notified of any future vlogs I put up. Till next time, signing off from Jamestown, New York. Bye bye. <laughs>